Hello, this is a very short introduction to Arcadia and Capella. Arcadia is a model-based engineering method that was born in Thales in 2006 with the objective of transforming engineering practices. The mandate at that time was to define an approach allowing us to cope with the growing complexity of systems and industrial schemes. Arcadia provides the high-level objectives, concepts and viewpoints. Capella is a graphical modeling workbench specifically developed for supporting Arcadia. It provides the notation and the diagrams. It also provides a wide spectrum of original productivity and analysis capabilities. The main goals of Arcadia are to understand the customer or user need, to define and share the solution among stakeholders, to secure system software hardware engineering, and prepare sub contracting, to early evaluate and justify architectural design, and finally to prepare and master integration, verification, and validation. Most of Arcadia is summarized here four main engineering perspectives with specific tasks or objectives. For each of them, an example. The concepts and description means are provided. The biggest takeaway is a clear separation between the capture of the need and the description of the solution. The core concepts of Arcadia are extremely simple. It all starts with capabilities that define high level services provided by the system. What is the system or product able to do? Why is a customer buying it? Capabilities are described by functional chains and scenarios that illustrate specific usage contexts. For example, an end-to-end -end chain description of how the system is solicited and how it reacts. Functional chains and scenarios are used for example to capture nominal and degraded cases. The typical usage is to relate them to test procedures. Functional chains and scenarios involve atomic functions or actions that have dependencies between each other. A function produces outputs that are consumed by other functions. These dependencies are called functional exchanges. Functions and functional exchanges are allocated to structural elements, such as the system itself, its constituents or the actors. Functional exchanges are allocated to component exchanges. Functional exchanges and component exchanges can be further described by interfaces and data structures. Last but not least, modes and states machines attach to structural elements allow behavioural description of the system and a specification of which functional interface is available in which mode or which state. To make all this more concrete, let's use a small example. Here, the product is a drone-based solution to inspect the exterior of an aircraft. We start with an operational need analysis where we focus on what the users of the system need to accomplish. One of the goals of the operational need analysis is to support the discussions with the customer. The operational need analysis of our product describes the stakeholders and their activity. Maintenance services, the certified inspector, the airline company, the aircraft captain, and the infrastructures around the aircraft. We describe what the certified inspector does and show how the surrounding infrastructure constitutes obstacles that can alter the inspection results. Operational need analysis is a great place to conduct value analysis and identify the pains and gains of each stakeholder. What is not relevant here is the exact boundary of our system or product. We shouldn't see a box representing it. The second Arcadia perspective dedicated to the need capture is called the system need analysis. Here, we focus on what is expected from the system we formalize the result of capability trade-off analysis and clearly identify the system boundaries and actors. Here, the functional analysis focuses on what is expected from our system. A function allows the drone to control its orientation and motion, whether via automated piloting or manual control. We expect the system to capture data on the aircraft, such as pictures, videos, scans to process them, for example, for automated defect detection and to display them. We clearly identify the actors interacting with our product and the exchanges with them. What is not relevant here is anything that is related to the solution, how things work, which technologies, and so on. After the capture of the need, 
we're finally ready to produce with the description of the solution and we start with a logical architecture or conceptual solution. Here we focus on the system here we focus on how the system would work. The goal is to provide a high level description that can be understood by all the engineering stakeholders, meaning not only by the system architects. The first obvious information about our system here is that it is made of the base station on the ground and of the drone. Some major decisions are described here. Is the execution of the flight plan the responsibility of the base station or is it the one of the navigation components of the drone? If it is the base station's responsibility, then there will be high expectations of the connection between the base station and the drone, in terms of bandwidth or latency for example. This communication would also offer cyber attack opportunities. If the execution of the flight plan is performed within the drone, then more computing resources will be required with an impact on battery life and therefore on autonomy. The goal of this level of description is to give all stakeholders the same basic understanding of the solution. Engineering managers, marketing staff, product line managers, design authorities and safety analysts. What is not relevant here is which specific sensors we're going to use, which command device, which communication media between the drone and the base station. We don't necessarily want to have the detailed interfaces here either. We are now ready to move to the physical architecture or finalized solution. Here we will make hardware choices, decide between the make, team or buying strategies, refine trade-offs, detail interfaces. The physical architecture describes a finalized solution with enough details to product unambiguous contracts towards downstream engineering teams. Here we choose that the base station is actually made of a joystick and a tablet. We choose which sensors we are going to use, we specify the communication media and specify precisely the interfaces in order to guarantee a proper integration later on. What is not relevant here is the internal detailed design of each system constituent. This will be the topic of downstream engineering models that can be automatically produced by Capella. To summarize, Arcadia exploits the same concepts in all perspectives. Capabilities are described by functional change in scenarios involving functions allocated to structural elements. The engineering objectives of each Arcadia perspectives are just different. Not all projects are required to use all of these perspectives. A precise analysis of the engineering objectives and the definition of the corresponding modeling strategy is a mandatory step at the beginning of each project. This is what coaching is about. You can find more information on public forums, Capella webinars and from our YouTube channel or directly from the Capital website. Thank you for watching.